Welcome to this webcast. In this webcast, we'll show you how to change the default configuration manager uh, logos to your own custom logo. Notice that I have one of the default configuration manager reports up with the default logos. To start the process of updating logos, I will launch Logo Changer. For this demonstration and to show the three logo locations, I will set up the logo so you get the blue logo, the Enhance Soft logo, and then the green logo. Once I click Upload, the logo files, which are PNG files, will get uploaded to your SSRS site, and you'll see that they've been uploaded when I refresh IE. Now that I've uploaded the logo files, and I have your attention, let me show you what happens when you upload a logo that does not meet the logo sizes. I'll launch Logo Changer again, this time I'll change the left logo only and put in the enhance off box art. Again, I will refresh IE and this will show the updated logo. Notice how huge this logo is and you'll see the report below. And as I scroll to the right and again back up to the top, you'll see the original logos of the enhance off logo and the green bar. So this is going to beg the question, how do I get the Microsoft logos back? Well, they're actually stored on your site server under your SSRS reporting point. So I'll demonstrate that. You relaunch Logo Changer. You'll browse off to the SSRS reporting point directory. And you'll be able to find both the left, right, and center logos there. Once you upload it, you'll be back exactly the way you were before we all started. Again, I'll refresh IE and you'll see that everything's back exactly the way we were. There you have it. It really is that simple. I'm going to actually leave ours as the Enhanced Soft logos. Instead of the green and, and blue bars, what I'm going to replace those two with our uh, white bars. So I'll do that right now by launching Logo Changer and selecting the appropriate logos. For more information about logo file sizes and how to get started with Enhanced Soft Logo Changer, make sure to check out our documentation. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us.